Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to import new materials or textures into your SketchUp model. First of all, you'll want to launch SketchUp and we actually need to create a surface on which we can apply this new material or texture. Any flat surface will do. You should also have the materials palette open. So if you don't have the materials palette open, make sure the default tray is on and also materials is active. Now, you can import your own material files and the source material can be a photo or something you've made. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna download a material file from the internet. So, go ahead and launch your preferred search engine and search for SketchUp materials. In this case, sketchuptextureclub.com is the first one that comes up. So let's give that one a go. To be able to download textures or materials from this website, you will need to register for a free account. And if you already have an account, you can just log in. So I'm going to log in now. Now that I've logged in, I'm going to go to textures and scroll down just a little bit. Now you can either search for textures from in here or you can just open these drop downs. Let's go for some marble slabs in blue. And from here, let's just go ahead and click any one. It really doesn't matter. As I scroll down, notice that free users get to download a lower quality version than paid users. Also paid users get access to these maps. So these are more important for if you want to do very high quality photorealistic renders using something like V-Ray for SketchUp. If you want to learn more about V-Ray for SketchUp, just check the links in the description below. For now though, let's just go ahead and download this free version. That shouldn't take long. Let's go to where that's been downloaded to. You'll notice this comes as a zip file, so let's go ahead and extract it. So this is now the texture or material file that we're going to import into SketchUp. Let's go back to SketchUp. Let's go File, Import. And you'll want to make sure that your import page has all selected types selected. So this means that any type of importable file will be visible. And in this case, obviously the new material is here. So we'll single click onto it. Be careful not to double click. And then we'll want to make sure that we are importing as a texture. So we are importing as a texture and then we click import. As we move our mouse back into the model space, you'll notice that the material is attached to your cursor. Move the cursor to anywhere on that surface that you've created and click once. This is going to be the initial corner of that material. The next click is going to be the scale. So how big do you want this image to be inside this model space? I'm just going to click to the same size as the geometry we have. And so there you have it. Now you have this material saved as part of this model. We can rescale, rotate or edit this material, but we won't cover that in this video. And it's also worth noting that this material is only now part of this model. If we were to open a new SketchUp file, this material wouldn't be saved as one of the default materials available in SketchUp. If you want to learn how to make a collection of materials that you want to use across multiple projects without having to import them all all over again, check out the video linked in the bottom right hand corner of this video.